everyone, uh, I'm just going to do a very quick review of this uh, Luxman L505 UX2 integrated amplifier. This one is uh, Send, they call it Send Blaster White. So RMS rated at the uh, 100 watts at 8 ohm, 150 watts at 4 ohm load. The packaging, everything is comes very nice and minimalist packaging that are well protected and well packed. And then um, it comes with the uh, this uh, aluminum remote control and uh, th this portion uh, center area, infrared center area is uh, plastic and this uh, battery compartment cover is made of plastic. So the very quality remote control, every features work except for subsonic and mono features. And then uh, balance this one has only one balance input, so I can hit either button, it will go into balance. So that's how they set. Next thing is uh, setting it up. So setting it up is, uh, oh by the way, this is the, uh, my mono price, a mono lit uh, XL shelf. This is not a regular shelf. I I put a hobby sense in every pose. So this is super heavy duty a very solid shelf so and then um you can hear it so this is like a you know full of a hobby sense in there setting up this amp is very straightforward and very easy more all my amplifier i plug directly into the wall outlet and um, the buttons these are it's nice click, very good resistant, just about right, not too soft, not too hard. I really like this kind of a quality. And then a volume control knob. This is a famous a liqueur volume control knob. It's very nicely done. I really like these two buttons. And these are small buttons. I'm not really that big fan of. These are regular uh, economical uh, buttons that you can have it on any uh, you know a thousand two thousand dollars amplifiers so this this is a little downside that I, I did I don't really like these buttons and then uh, another thing I don't like is uh, speaker binding pulse the binding pulse itself is fine but uh, the plastic buttons or plastic uh, knobs are uh, not that great to handle so they should really use something like uh, Occuphase or speaker binding post because which is really really great binding post in my opinion and then everything is solid though this one the meters you know it looks it might look really blue in there but uh, it's very soft light blue so it's not that annoying to look at it but I would love something like uh, you know Yamaha yellowish uh, white or Luxman 509 uh, color the gauge color so that's my preference but you know this one come with this color which is not you know doesn't bother me so it's fine it's perfectly okay even in the darkness it doesn't bother me so my setup is uh, this uh, Marantz SACD player and my Canon DP47 turntable from 1996. Another thing that I want to mention is the heat. It's kind of warm. I mean, a lot warmer than the uh, my Denon amplifier. I didn't bother to take out the original uh, Luxman uh, supply AC power code. I use this at PS Audio. AC5 connecting from this one directly to the wall as I did before with my Denon amp and I will get to that story later and then uh, Oya Ida Black member Alpha AC cable is connected to here and then a Luxman standard AC power code is connected to this amplifier so that's all the connection and you know of course speakers I'm using is uh, 706S2
Let's do with the, uh, start with the out of the box impression. Out of the box, when I connect it, I just play, uh, you know, whatever the music that I have in this USB thumb drive. So, but, uh, you know, music that I'm used to. So what I feel, I felt that it sounded too soft. Highs are not as extended. Bass is really soft. Mid range is uh, not recessed, but uh, it's uh, a little flat. So that's how that sounded out of the box as a brand new unit. And then uh, after like 40 hours or so, it really, really uh, changed the, uh, the sound signature, meaning it's improved a little bass get a little bit tighter and the mid range is like more natural and clean mid range. Highs are still soft. So upper mid range is still a little flat. So that's uh, my finding after 40 hours. So 70, 80 hours, it changed. But uh, the thing is, everything sound natural, but highs and bass, it's not sounding great. You know, uh, it really bugs me. I was like, oh no, I'm not gonna listen to this amp because of uh, the highs are not extended, bass is not deep and tight as I, wa I wanted to hear. So then uh, I make some changes. So what I did was, so I just wanted to make sure, you know, all the connections were done properly. So I double check everything and then I come to my mind, uh, why don't I, uh, because I was using this PS Audio AC5 power code with this amp plugging directly to the wall. So come to my mind was, why don't I try an original uh, Luxman supplied uh, AC power code? This thing came alive. The bass is deeper than ever because bass goes deeper than my Denim amp. The highs are more transparent, well extended, yet there is no brightness unless I give them some poor quality recording. So that's about like 80 to 100 hours of usage, thinking that it might improve a little bit in uh, refinement because sometimes I've got a little bit uh, uncontrolled highs, so those things will improve because Luxman is not known for that kind of sound. And it might be something to do with my uh, keyboard, the uh, interconnect that I made. Because another thing that uh, I found is like uh, solder cables tend to have a, a little bit unrefined uh, highs compared to crimp on cables like Audio Quest made. So that is my personal opinion. So, but you know, I strongly believe that. So. Currently, I'm using a uh, XLR balance connection made of a uh, new trick uh, connectors, belt and A402 uh, cable. So I may replace that one with the uh, crimp type uh, connectors. Let's get to uh, sound quality. Sound quality, I mean, after the break-in period, it's musical. I mean, simply put, it's just a taste of uh, high-end, hi-fi sound quality. That's the uh, simplest what that I can come up with. It totally shows the uh, refinement quality. It's very musical, very transparent. Sound stage is wider than the uh, all my previous amp that I should be saying because it, although I don't have the uh, same speakers with previous sets, but uh, compared to Denon, Denon seems to have uh, Bass response is not as deep, but uh, it pronounced a little bit more tauter, a little faster, the sound that I would describe. But this one produced more deeper bass with well-pronounced notes and detail that you can hear everything. I mean, everything. Guitars, stand-up bass guitars, and low notes, everything. Rolling notes, everything can clearly hear and appreciate the uh, sound reproduction of this combination for my musical enjoyment. 
And then a mid range, I have no complaint. It's better than the, uh, my previous uh, Occuface E306, or better than anything that I ever had in my system. Oh, also, that's probably something to do with this uh, 76 S2 as well. And uh, next thing is highs. Highs are uh, out of the box, it's so soft. It's really soft and then I was like, oh man, I don't want this kind of highs because the Bowser and Wilkins are not known for that kind of highs and they are greatly improved after the breaking period. But in my mind, I kind of want to go up on five or seven, but it's kind of steep price increase. It's about $2,000 different. So I'm debating, should I go for that or save for future upgrade for phono stage and or, you know, going up to Diamond's uh, speakers. So that's uh, another day, another, you know, research, another, you know, craziness for being an audio farm. Low level music listening better than the uh, Parasound or Class A buyer stage at the low volume level is so much better. More details. Every note is pronounced and clearly I can hear it. Low level meaning like 45 dB the most. Then I'm not even engaging this uh, uh, loudness pattern. And next thing is engaging the tone control. Let's say if I add a little bass, if I subtract a little bass, or if I reduce a little bit trouble, sound signature still the same. Don't you think it's amazing? Because I never had an amp that, you know, if I turn up bass control a little bit, the clarity reduced. So that kind of thing that always happens, that's why I don't use sound. Uh, I don't use tone control at all. But I, although I don't use, I still don't use tone control, but uh, I tried it. This is the one of the best way of doing the tone control. So Luxman, those are kudos to you and uh, whoever designed it, I forgot his name. Uh, this kind of uh, tone control, uh, engagement increasing little by little and the producing whatever you desire tone without you know breaking up breaking apart a uh, great soundscape so I'm really really love the feature it's best tone control ever that I have ever used period and next thing is uh, I don't use monitor button Line straight, I don't use it because line input uh, from this uh, SACD player to this amp, I use a balance, and that input is so good. I don't need to use a pure direct or line straight, you know. And then I try uh, RCA connection, it's good, really good too. So it attack, you know, a little bit less uh, disable. Other than that, it's a very good sound. But uh, mainly I prefer using balance connections because that dynamics and soundscape and higher disable benefit that I get and lower noise flow. And, and uh, next thing is let your volume control knob. That volume control knob is a, one of a best probably the best because i never try or i never had chance to use your new uh, occuface uh, volume control knob yet because those are uh, those two produce probably the most advanced volume control and attenuator in the industry so they have their own technology and then uh, another thing that really let me go with the Luxman direction over Yamaha or any other speaker is this M featuring um, 
the top of the line, the Luxman C900, are free amplifier uh, buffer stage in the free session of this amp. So that's really sealed the deal for me. And then uh, the phono stage is really, really good. So quiet, very quiet. Nothing. You see, my timetable is on the photo stage, volume control now is 11 o'clock. Let me take it up to 12 o'clock. Then I can hear. So until like 11 o'clock, I cannot hear a thing. It's so quiet. So really good photo stage. And then, oh, very musical. Effortlessly a musical sound signature, nothing pushing it. Bass, mid range, upper mid range, mid bass, lower bass, you know, high frequencies, everything. Everything is great. Only thing that uh, left me wondering is what if I went with five or seven? Would it be an all amplifier for life for me? Or is it five or nine? Because if I go 509, my wife going to scream at me and we're going to have a big, big discussion. So even 507. So that's uh, another thing that uh, I have to I don't think I can go 509. I show her on a website. She said, what? Amplify for nine, $10,000? Are you crazy? Well, she didn't say it like that. She's like, oh, that's too much. But in her eyes, I can see that. So that's it, man. This is great. I'm happy. This power code doesn't work. So Luxman stock uh, original power code that come in with this M. Man, it totally gives me, because I was going to pack it up because of what this thing is making my amplifier not seen. So now I'm happy. So this is a great app. If you are in the market for this price point of this brand, I can totally recommend you wholeheartedly because based on my experience, this is a one fine app. Most importantly, I like the sound. I like the uh, quality that I get for the money. I like everything that this one can do and, and everything that this one offering except for a few minor things these knobs and binding post button or the knobs so that's it great amplifier if you're in the market for this price point i can highly recommend it to you to try it out i really appreciate everyone comes up and advise me for what and to go with and share their experience. I'm totally happy that everyone advised me and I highly appreciate your opinions and your comments. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much and thank you for watching my videos and uh, you have a great year. Thank you.